In our last video, we pulled back the curtain, we showed you the silent AI in your email, shaping your customer data, filtering job applicants, and even scoring your collaboration. That's the question you asked, and today, we answer it. Welcome back. The response to the last video was incredible. Thank you. But the most common comment was, this is scary. What now? So we're moving from problem to solution. This isn't about quitting your job or smashing the servers. It's about learning the rules of the game so you can play it better. This is your practical guide to working with, around, and in spite of the invisible algorithms that manage your career. Let's take back control. Here is your three-part playbook. Master these, and you stop being a passenger and start being a pilot. First, you need to learn to speak the machine's language. This is about optimization, not deception. If you're job hunting, you're dealing with an applicant tracking system. Here's how to beat it. Don't just read the job description. Analyze it. Find the specific software, the key verbs, the nouns. Then mirror that language exactly in your resume. If they ask for orchestrating lead generation funnels, don't just say you ran email campaigns. Use their words. The AI is a simple pattern matcher. Give it the patterns it's looking for. And for your daily work, write for the machine that's reading it. Use clear subject lines. Structure your messages with bullet points. Avoid sarcasm and ambiguous language that sentiment analysis can misread. You're not dumbing things down. You're making them machine readable, which ironically makes them more human readable too. Clarity is power. Strategy two, become the exception. You are the quality control for the algorithm. You need to manually audit its work. This is simple but powerful. Once a week, spend five minutes checking your other social and spam folders. You will find messages the AI got wrong. Reclaim them. And if you're a manager or involved in hiring, this is non-negotiable. Ask to see a random sample of the resumes the ATS filtered out. I guarantee you'll find a diamond in the rough that the algorithm missed. You are the human safety net for the AI's mistakes. Finally, the most powerful strategy of all, shifting from a passive subject to an informed stakeholder. You do this by asking strategic questions that force transparency. You don't need to be confrontational. Frame it as a desire for better data quality. Ask your IT department, what recruitment screening tools do we use and what parameters are set? Ask your analytics team, how is our customer feedback tagged? Can we see the uncategorized comments? These questions signal that you're critically engaged. They start a necessary conversation about the black box in your company. Now these aren't just one-off tricks. This is a fundamental mindset shift, from being a passenger to being a pilot. It's called algorithmic awareness. It means you no longer blindly trust the data put in front of you. You approach every report, every filtered list, every prioritized inbox with a new question. What is the system not showing me? You understand that data is not truth. It's a perspective. And now, you have the tools to find the other perspectives. You have the playbook. You can speak the language, you can run the audit, and you can ask the powerful questions. You are no longer at the mercy of the silent algorithm. Now, I want to hear from you. What strategies have you tried? Share your own tips in the comments below. Let's learn from each other. If you found this guide helpful, pay it forward by liking this video and subscribing for more. And subscribe because in the next video, we're flipping the script. We've talked about the AI that works on you. Next, we'll dive into the AI tools you can use for you, the practical, ethical AI assistants that can actually give you a superpower at work. Thanks for watching. Take control.